Hi, my name is Lucas Weekly. Today I just wanted to talk a little bit about this. Yes, this is my kite aerial photography rig. So one weekend my family was going to the beach and I really wanted some aerial photography or videography of the beach. And my tricopter was in shambles and I didn't have a mounting system for my airplane. So what I did was I put this together really, really fast and these are some shots of my first day out there. So we went back and I improved the rig just a little bit by adding a longer string to it. We'll go into that later. And I got these. And a lot of you might have seen the videos that I posted up on my YouTube channel of this kite rig working and getting nice shots. So I didn't really do anything fancy for the construction. I just took the box that the GoPro comes in. I took the bottom piece where it snaps onto, where it's underneath the acrylic. And I just cut some grooves in it and made it able to hold the string. Now, unfortunately, I would have used pulleys if I had more time, but I didn't. And just to level out the camera so its own weight would level it out, but it seemed to work fine. Now you can notice in some of the video right up there that it's pretty shaky. And I really had no way of stabilizing this, especially when I was letting out the string or bringing it back in. Perhaps in the future, I'll put some sort of stabilization system on it, but I don't know right now. Uh, there's, I Now that I have my tricopter, I don't think I'll be using it anymore. Um, so, yeah. so that's it. That was a quick little video. You can check me out at lucasweekly.com. And if you like what you saw, so please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Bye. So a tricopter, as its name implies, is a three-bladed helicopter. So how this works is there's three motors. And they're all controlled by this controller board with gyros on them which makes it very stable and a great candidate for aerial videography, which is what I'm going to use it for.